Hey, uh, Logan Couture is ready for us, and we appreciate the captain joining us on the heels of his five-point night. Hey, Logan, it's Brody and Brownie back here in San Francisco to really set up tonight and maybe what it meant to you guys. I hope this is okay. Can we just go back to last night and how your team instantly reacted to that one? Well, now that it's in the history books, what was it really like to go through that? Uh, it's, it sucked. Um, you know, the dressing room after it was pretty quiet. Guys were obviously pretty down. Um, you know, we've had some tough losses this year, and that was near near rock bottom. If it wasn't rock bottom, it was pretty close to it. So, yeah, tough, uh, tough last night, getting here late. Yeah, I think most guys probably didn't get too much sleep thinking about that one. But uh, um, we had a good meeting this morning, uh, stayed positive. Um, I think the first goal on, on, you know, one minute and a half in really settled us down, gave us a lead. And then we just fought, you know, the goal at the end of the first period. Carl scored a big goal there to, to even it up going to the break. And, um, you know, we felt like it was a pretty good period for us. They, get, they got the two power play goals, but 5-on-5, five five, I thought we had, you know, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. We had just as many chances as they did. And uh, it's nice to, to finish one of those off at the end of the game, score late, and then get an empty netter to seal it because it's been going the other way too often on yeah. us. Well, and to your point, to be put in that exact same situation as you guys were in last night, almost felt fateful, right? That, that here's another opportunity to hang on to this game like you did. Oh, yeah, I think the secret was scoring the empty netter with only nine seconds left instead of uh, a minute and 30. <laughs> Logan Curtis here. Congratulations. Five points. Like, just spectacular. Anytime you go through a low, as you mentioned, and sometimes it takes rock bottom, either as an individual or as a team, uh, to come back the way you did and to lead the way you did, great job. I want to talk about your line because when you look at it, Barabanov, you know, he started the season, wasn't in the lineup. Here's a guy that had to go through some adversity. And then Asimov, you know, who would have thought you could pick a guy up for free that ends up being absolutely one of the biggest impacts the last couple weeks? Uh, you're getting to play with those guys. It all went well tonight. Why does that work so well? Yeah, Isaac was great tonight. I thought... Uh... He was all over the puck. He uh, he plays fast. He plays on top. Yeah, he plays almost that that pest style where he's in the other team's face. He's on he's on he's on their best players. You know, he's in Crosby's face, um, and he's a guy you don't want to play against. Um, for for me as a line mate, I love it because he's all he's all over the puck on the forecheck. He's creating uh, free pucks so I can jump in. Barbie sees the ice extremely well. Uh, very good pass first guy. It's nice to see him shoot one in the net. Um, you know, he's always looking to pass. Obviously, he made a fantastic pass to me on his semi-breakaway. You know, he, that's just who he is. He's always looking for that pass. So I know I've got to get up in the play and try and find open ice. Um, yeah, fantastic pass. They're fun to play with. Uh, you know, wins haven't come easy the last little while. Um, but it's always nice to to finish going into the break. Um, you know, we got points in the last three. Would have liked to get, to get more. But uh, it feels nice winning this game. Logan, if uh, if I'm Barbie, I'm I'm maybe not passing to you when you were trailing. I, I probably selfishly would have taken that shot. Because you can't see what you're doing. Right <laughs> Your hands are terrible. <laughs> what's uh what's the next ten days look like for you? Uh, obviously, you're 51 games in. You could probably use some rest. You don't want to get too rusty. Ten days is a long time off. What do you plan to do? I'm going home tonight on the flight, and then uh, going to spend a, a couple days up in Napa, and uh, and then just relax. I think. Uh, Sit around home, uh, play with my dogs, and that's about it. Seems like a, a red wine type guy. Seems like a Merlot. What, what are we going no, for? No, Cab. Oh, Cab, yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's what gets Brody excited. Little, he little just wants heavier. to know. Yeah. He's the best relaxer uh, that we have here in the studio. So. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, It'll be fun. Congrats on uh, the win tonight and getting to enjoy this for an extended period of time. And uh, we'll see you after the break, Logan. Thanks for doing All right. this. Great job. Thanks, guys. Yep. All right. Good to hear from the captain there. So.